In this video, I'm going to show you what taping compounds to use to fill minor imperfections in the walls and small nail holes. I'm also going to tell you which ones to avoid. If you use the wrong taping compounds to patch holes and little imperfections like the ones in these circles, they'll show up after you're done painting. And this is what they'll look like if you use the wrong ones when you're finished painting. You'll want to stay away from spackling or vinyl spackling. These are great products but very hard to sand. And because of that they don't blend or feather very well. Another one you want to stay away from are the brown bag Durabonds. These particular ones dry like concrete and you won't be able to sand them. This brand is pretty good to use. It's not the easiest to sand but it will feather in and blend pretty well. The Plus 3 is another one that works pretty well. It blends and feathers easy and it comes in a small container so you have less waste. This is my favorite taping compound to use. It trawls on very smooth and very easy to blend and feather with a sanding sponge. This box is a few dollars more than the small containers and it's the only size it comes in. It may seem like a lot of waste but it's not much more money than the smaller containers. And I think that's a small price to pay for a professional looking finish. Until next time, thanks for watching.